Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I'm Brendan Lee. In this video, I want to talk to you about, in a sense, the insanity of mind. But maybe more, it's like getting responsible or, or some considerations about getting responsible for your own experience that um, might be of some service. Basically, the other day I was thinking, well, I was thinking like, hey, what, what kind of content could I shoot? What, um, you know, what else could I provide here? And, and it occurred to me something about, and the way it came up, so I'm going to struggle to get going here likely, but the way it came up uh, for me was like the insanity of mind. How fucking fucked up and insane we are as people. And what do I mean by that? Well, like what I, what I mean by that is not necessarily, yes, there is actual insanity where you lose total tra track of reality, you are and it's like it's nuts and you end up in a nut house or something like that. Yes, there's that, but I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is considering the mechanism that is your experience, how it works, right? And for example, or at least the first example or the main example is, you know, you know how we live in a world and when you have emotional reactivity, isn't it caused by stuff? And we live in the world like you made me this way, you did this, you know, this happened and it made me feel blah, blah, blah. Um, I grew up in these circumstances and it made it, the circumstances made me who I am. And on and on and on and on. You know we live in this world, right? It's like, you made me do it. And rarely, as far as I can tell, do we stop and think, well, what the fuck's actually true? We don't, Right? No, you made me hurt. And the thing is, with this stuff, if you watch, isn't it true that when something happens, you feel triggered? Boom, boom. And isn't it sudden? And isn't it out of your control? Yes, yes, yes. So then by all accounts, we, we go, yeah, you made it happen because it, it looks like a cause and effect type relationship. Whereas... In essence, that's actually dishonest. Which is to say, not, not, not dishonest like, like intentionally deceiving other people and it's morally dishonest, but no, it's actually just, it's not fucking true. It's not true. That's not how it works. It just works really fast and we're so dumb as people <laughs> that we don't look into the matter, we don't confront it, we don't, we're unaware, we're ignorant and willfully ignorant and nobody really care. Okay, not nobody, but who gives a shit about what I'm saying? Yeah, who cares? It's much easier in this day and age. You know, I guess we are culturally speaking. It just really fucking looks like that. And then, okay, so it looks like that, that you caused me. Now, let's start to shift perspective as best we can, or shift. Instead of you cause me to feel this way, I'm the one that feels this way. You're not the cause, because in reality, that's not the case. Say we get conscious of this. Say we become aware enough to notice, wait a minute, something's going on with me. Something's going on with me that has nothing to do with what's being presented. And even worse, this is come to a workshop kind of shit. Even worse, what we perceive to be there is already being influenced by what we assume is true of reality, life, others, and whatever else. And there's a lot of this bullshit, a lot of this. What we assume to be true of the person, of the circumstance, of reality, of whatever, will influence what we see. So it's, it's like double worse. It's like really hard to see this shit. That's what I'm saying. Now, if we finally say get conscious or aware that there's something going on, and in reality, there is no cause that is external, like our internal feelings are not caused by 
something outside of us, now we have, we are the cause. Right? So shift perspective to now, I'm responsible for my internal reactions. I'm fully responsible for my internal relationships. I take ownership of my experience in that regard. Right? So we shift, shift. Now, what kind of world do you live in in there? Like, you, no more excuses for the cause of your internal struggle. No more excuses for the causes of your internal pain. No more, no more putting it on something that's outside of you and outside of your control. No more of that. Now, have you done that? I really doubt you've done that. But okay, try to do that. Now what do you got? You have a shitty experience, and it's you doing it. You, you live in pain and reactivity, and even worse, you don't control it. It, it looks like it just falls on your ass. So you have, you, what do you have? That's insane. It's insane. It is fucking batshit crazy, the shit that we do with our minds. It's fucking nuts. I mean, do you get what I'm trying to say here? Can you see it? What? That means that your emotional hurt and your emotional pain is shit that you do. For what? It looks like you need it, right? I need it to make me better, but it never does. Um, I need the emotional pain to protect myself. No, you just can know how to protect yourself and see a situation and protect yourself. You don't need the driver. You see, when you, t when you strip off all the excuses and all the bullshit and all the stuff, that's what I mean. It reveals to me the insanity. It is fucking nuts. Because <laughs> that means you're hurting yourself for no reason. And who would do that? Like, like for example, right? We had a guy who, who was here. And I could see how he generated his own suffering about comparing his life where it was to some idea of where he think he should be because he was getting older, right? So he's comparing where he's at to where he think he should be based on his age, which is another concept. And he was angry and upset and hurt and like remorseful. And it's like all that stuff for what? It's painful. It's suffering. It doesn't help anything. It doesn't do anything. He thinks it does something to help him do I don't know what. But if we look at that behavior, that activity from a certain, from this other perspective of complete ownership and responsibility, he's literally like stabbing himself in the foot for what? That is insane. It's insane. I'm going to get emotionally hurt for nothing. It's insane. I mean, I can't think of another word. Stupid. Fucking dumb. Worthless activity. What? Like, what does it actually do? Nothing, 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 nothing. Cause pain. Great job. And I say it in this way to help bring attention to like, wait a minute, what are we doing here? What are we doing as people? What, what the fuck? You see, because what... <clears throat> One of the things that seems challenging for me about trying to get this stuff across is I haven't, I use, you know, I like I use the videos to work, work it through a little bit. I, I may or may not be able to articulate the complexity that this is in a way like I haven't thought it through. You know, I sort of think it through on the fly with you here in the videos. That's like how it operates. So please forgive me if I haven't thought it through. And it seems like these things work together and it makes a very complex structure that then our experience is founded on this structure and it locks in, like it's locked in. Like, for example, we take the, I don't know, you take, a, take the guy, he feels bad. Well, why do you feel bad? He's like, well, I haven't done this because I need to go accomplish this thing now. So he, and then in his mind, he thinks he needs the suffering to go accomplish something, but what does he think he's trying to accomplish? Again, and just as an example, right? I need the suffering to accomplish this thing because if I accomplish this thing, then it'll somehow fix me and I'll resolve something. And it's like it all works together to keep him running and keep driving him 
to hurt himself because he thinks he needs it. Like the need and the, dr- and the hurt and the concept of what, the, what it's going to get in the future all smushed together in this like perfect union of bullshit. And then people suffer that. And then they wonder why they're not happy. So then they try to go to a spiritual practice. Maybe they come to a workshop to try to get happy. Because they think, again, in the future, if I do this thing, in the future, I'll do this. And it'll fix me, finally. And it all works together. But the whole thing, the whole mechanism is erroneous. Bullshit. (laughs) Insane. The whole mechanism. And then even worse, you have other assumptions. I, I can hear what, what I imagine people would think. is like, well, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't do anything. That's another assumption that helps lock the whole fucking thing in place because you're scared to give it up because you're afraid of what you might lose. And you wouldn't get to be the same kind of person and you're very driven to be the, the person that you are and you think if you lose the person that you are that you've actually lost something of significance. And all of that, when you see how complex it works together. Now, and I understand the, the power. You know, I've confronted stuff in me where I felt like I was going to die. I felt like I was going to die. It was real, real to me. On the other side of that, all that feeling, all that drama, all that ferocious mind was just more bullshit, more drama. On the other side, when I was in it, it was real and serious and powerful and no joke, very, very, very strong. But I went through it. On the other side, what the fuck was I doing? That was bullshit. It was insane, crazy, worthless use of my mind. See? So, so you getting the... You're getting my point here, this insanity business, the stupidity (laughs) of being run by these old programs. Now, again, another, another sidebar or another direction. As soon as I say run by these old programs, people might hear that and go, oh, it's not me, it's my program. So like we've got an apprentice here. Oh, it's not me, it's my mind. Why does my mind do that? That is yet another fucking piece to the puzzle in the sense that who's running your mind? Somebody else? It's not me, it's my programs. Who built the programs? Who continually runs the programs? Uh, you and uh, you? You see. So again, that's an excuse and an excuse. More bullshit. And the bullshit is directed to do what? stay the same you see (laughs) ah it's a lot and it's just on and on and on and to me again it's like it's fucking nuts and i'm not saying nuts as in morally wrong i'm not saying nuts as in bad although it is bad it's just like it's literally fucking nuts like you know like imagine if you saw a dog well sometimes we even have and and I think I'm, I'm inspired a bit by some of the talks Peter's been giving, and he's also coming out with a new book called Ending Suffering, which, Ending Unnecessary Suffering, coming out in March of 2025. You should check that out. Um, it's about this mind shit, yeah? The stuff we do in our minds that is totally unnecessary, and it's all suffering. It's all stupid. Imagine a dog. Imagine, imagine a, a dog. Now imagine a dog with all the human neuroses like worried about the future and like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to get here. I think I need to fulfill myself and fulfill my destiny and a dream as a dog. So I'm going to go on a quest to find a teacher so that finally if I find the teacher, then the teacher can teach me the thing so then I can be whole and complete. Imagine a dog doing this. You'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Right? And we even see some neurotic dogs, right? (laughs) <laughs> and the reason they're neurotic is because they're hanging out with us because we're fucked up <laughs> right you see a dog all worried about sh- what uh what do you think of me oh my god did i pee right oh oh did i am i is my fur out of place like i don't know if my fur is right today I, like i'm so worried about how other dogs are perceiving me right right can you imagine a dog doing that and you look at a dog you would think that is fucking insane right 
I mean, prove me wrong. I don't know. No, you'd be like, that's nuts. You think it's different <laughs> because we're humans? <laughs> anyway, so I'm just trying to share that. So now, right? Now, now, so now about that, what do you do? Well, one, just consider, notice. Where do you go to notice this stuff? Right in your experience right now. Tell the truth about what's really going on. And in this case, what are your emotions doing? You ever have the, those stuff that come, falls on your ass automatically? That automatic stuff? You, did, uh, you just feel bad? Imagine, and then usually what you do about it is like, okay, what? I feel bad. Okay, I'll eat something. I feel better. Or I feel bad. I'll tell that person off. Fuck them. I feel better now. You want to get at some of the stuff I'm talking about? No more trying to resolve it externally. Because external resolution doesn't actually work. It's just a temporary fix until the next time you're triggered by the same person in the same circumstance and there it goes again. And it doesn't ever stop unless you stop it. But if you want to get at this stuff, if you want to discover what's really going on, the place where you look in your experience, that's you, your experience, not a thought about you, not a thought about what I'm saying, but the feelings that you have that arise automatically. Look in there. And then cut yourself off from outside resolution. Now, I don't mean to stuff it down, but I mean notice or start to notice that you don't resolve that shit outside. Finally confront that and then go, now I'm left with an experience that's inside me, that's automatic, that I can't control and I don't know what's going on. Good. Start there and then find out how the fuck that stuff is built. How the fuck does that stuff happen? It happens because of outside. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it happens because they made me. That's more excuses again. No, 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 no. I mean, not, if you're interested in this kind of work, in this video, no more outside, no more excuses, no more crap. You're left with an experience you can't explain, that you can't control, and it's not caused by external circumstances. If you can actually get that, and I don't mean believe me, but when you actually get that for yourself, you'll start to go, holy shit, I'm up to a lot of stuff, and a lot of it I don't like. Good, find out why it's there. Not like a psychological probing, although psychology is likely to play a role, but the existence of it. What the fuck is it built out of? How does it happen? You know? What do you assume is true about you, life, others, such that that happens? And that'll keep you busy for a while. All right? But get it right away, because why wait? And then you might start to discover some of these dynamics that I'm talking about, and you might start to see, holy shit, this is actually insane. <laughs> okay? All right, so you got that? So work on it, or not. But if you want the results, you got to fucking work on it, because otherwise you're just going to do what you automatically do. <laughs> and that's what you got. That's what got you this far. You like what, where you're at now? Cool. Enjoy. You don't like it? Cool. Enjoy that, too. And work on it while you do. Otherwise, go out there, kick some ass, do good work. I hope this helps. Take a look. Check it out. Let me know what happens. 